In 2016, China launched a colossal project with a cost of $5 billion. It was not merely a bridge or a tunnel. It was a technical challenge that merged land, sea, and underwater elements simultaneously. But how did they manage to execute this project amidst geographical and engineering obstacles? And how did this gigantic bridge change the future of transportation in China? This is what we will learn about in this video. But before we continue, please can we ask you a quick favor? We put our utmost effort and passion in these videos for you, and your support means the world to us. So, please give us a thumbs up for the video and subscribe to our channel so we can continue producing interesting videos for you. In South China, where the sea meets the river and major cities embrace, lie Shenzhen and Zhongshan, two interconnected. Cities on the banks of the Pearl River, but the connection between the two cities was not always this easy. Travelers between the two cities, despite their relative proximity, faced endless challenges due to the long distance and complicated roads. However, in light of the rapid growth China has witnessed in recent years, those challenges transformed into new opportunities to build a massive project that changed the face of marine and land transportation in the region. In the final years of the 20th century, China saw a major transformation in the fields of manufacturing, technology, and transportation. Shenzhen, which was once just a small town, transformed into a massive technological city that attracts global companies and local workers. In 2022, the gross domestic product GDP of Shenzhen exceeded 3 trillion yuan, around $482 billion, a figure that surpasses the GDP of countries like Malaysia, Vietnam, and Denmark, and approaches the total GDP of the United Arab Emirates. Shenzhen holds a distinguished global economic position ranking among the top 10 economic cities in the world and eighth in terms of competitiveness. It is also considered one of the most important financial centers globally. According to the Huron Research Institute's list, Shenzhen ranks sixth globally in the number of billionaires, with 84 billionaires residing there. The city also possesses other features, such as being second globally in the number of skyscrapers and 19th in the number of scientific research institutions. All these achievements have led the media to nickname it the Silicon Valley of China for its pioneering role in technology and economy. What is astonishing is that less than 100 years ago, it was merely a small fishing village, but today it has become a massive city with a global impact. Conversely, Zhongxin was considered a flourishing industrial city, characterized by research and development centers and large factories. Although it does not often appear in major rankings, it has a special importance. With a population of 3.1 million, it seems small compared to its neighbor Shenzhen, which has about 13.5 million residents. Moreover, its GDP of approximately $50 billion is not comparable to Shenzhen's massive economy. But it is still a significant figure. The Chinese government is working to transform the city into a new technology hub, witnessing development in its industries and the establishment of national research centers. One of its most prominent projects is the Zhangshan National Research and Development Zone, which attracted around 430 foreign companies by 2021, including 20 companies from the Fortune 500 list, such as Canon and Casio. Furthermore, Zhangshan possesses one of the largest seaports in China, specializing in the shipping of goods and containers, making it a pivotal point in trade movement. Therefore, the city is an attractive destination for both foreign investors and citizens especially those coming from Shenzhen. However, due to the geographical location, these two cities suffered from relative isolation. Although the distance between them does not exceed a few dozen kilometers, the time it took people to travel from Shenzhen to Zhongshan was very long. In the early 1990s, China began a massive investment in infrastructure, particularly in bridge and intercity transport projects. Nevertheless, traditional means of transport, such as buses and cars, could not meet the needs of the rapid growth in this region. While Shenzhen was growing to become one of China's most important cities, Zhangshan was expanding rapidly in the industrial and technology sectors. With this increase in population and economic growth, the need to expand the transport network became urgent. The solution that was studied was to build a huge bridge connecting the two cities and to improve the marine infrastructure to help facilitate commercial traffic and public transport. One of the major projects that was launched was the Humen Bridge, which connects Shenzhen and Zhongshan. The bridge was completed in 1997, 
and set a record at the time as the longest suspension bridge in China. The bridge stretched for 884 meters over the sea and represented a turning point in Chinese bridge design. Over time, it became clear that the bridge was no longer sufficient to meet the city's increasing needs. The cities were witnessing a massive increase in population and economic activity, which necessitated work on a new, more advanced bridge project. The Humen Bridge had reached its limits, and China began looking for other, more innovative solutions. In the years that followed, the bridge project expanded to include underwater tunnels as the importance of waterways for connecting Shenzhen and Jiangshan increased. In 2016, the decision was made to build a new underwater bridge to improve communication between the two cities. The project was a massive engineering challenge that included marine bridges, undersea tunnels, and artificial industrial islands. These projects were executed with new methods and technologies that played a major role in reducing cost and increasing efficiency. The new bridge represented a revolution in engineering as it featured innovative techniques in underwater construction, including the use of 3D printing to manufacture large pipe segments. This project became the focus of global attention, led to a major leap in the development of marine construction projects in China. Despite the major challenges the project faced, including the difficult terrain and complex environmental conditions in the marine area, the Chinese solutions were highly innovative. China used modern construction technology, such as giant floating vessels to install the pipe segments and other structural components on the seabed. These vessels were giant factories equipped with the latest technologies to lift and accurately place the pipes in the specified locations. Robots were also used in many project tasks, such as monitoring pipes and cables and directing traffic in case of an accident. Smart lighting technologies were also integrated into the underwater tunnel to ensure the safety of drivers and guide them in the event of any emergency. One of the most prominent aspects of the project was the precise tests conducted to ensure that the bridge could withstand strong winds and heavy loads. The bridge was designed to withstand a severe typhoon with wind speeds reaching 32 km per hour. Every component of the bridge was tested in special laboratories to ensure that this giant project would be capable of facing any harsh conditions in the future. Among the innovations introduced to the bridge were the barriers that were tested against cars and buses to ensure the safety of the structure in case of collision. A smart system was also developed to distribute power and provide electricity and water supplies in the tunnel and the bridge. In the years following the start of the project, it required unconventional innovation to keep pace with the increasing demands for transport and to achieve success in this engineering challenge. One of the greatest innovations was the intelligent pylon construction machine that was developed in 2018. This machine was capable of optimizing the construction process in an unimaginable way, as it could process steel bars, install concrete, and execute structural installations smoothly and accurately, increasing the construction speed by 50%. One of the most important points emphasized during the bridge construction was safety, especially in areas exposed to strong winds or harsh weather conditions. The bridge was not merely a massive engineering structure. It included many advanced safety systems that ensured the protection of everyone from unexpected accidents. One of the most prominent of these systems was the smart barrier, designed to absorb large impacts resulting from accidents. During the tests, the barrier was tested using various vehicles, including large passenger cars and heavy vehicles. The goal of these tests was not only to ensure impact resistance, but also to test the bridge's ability to withstand strong hurricanes or any accident that might cause unusual stress. As for the most exciting part of the project, it was the underwater tunnel that extends across the Pearl River. Although the tunnel was not part of the visible structure, it was an essential component of the entire project. The design of this tunnel was not just an engineering challenge in its construction, but also in managing the traffic flow within it. The underwater tunnel is bi-directional and has eight lanes. But what truly distinguishes this tunnel is the integrated safety technologies within it. For example, the tunnel walls contain smart light strips that change according to the weather condition or traffic density. When there is an accident or emergency, drivers are guided by light signals to direct them safely to the nearest exits. One of the innovations introduced in this tunnel was the use of robots, which continuously worked to monitor pipes and cables. When it comes to gigantic infrastructure, record-breaking figures are usually an integral part of the story. 
and the Shenzhen Junction Bridge was no exception. The new bridge was the longest suspension bridge in China and one of the longest marine suspension bridges in the world. The bridge's length reached 43.5 kilometers, 16 meters of which extend over the sea, making it one of the most impressive bridges in the world. The bridge was designed to be resistant to harsh conditions, including typhoons. The bridge can withstand winds reaching a speed of 84 meters per second, equivalent to 301 kilometers per hour, a wind speed equal to a Category 5 hurricane. In the event of strong winds or an accident on the bridge, the smart barriers work to protect the structure from any negative impacts, ensuring the continuity of traffic flow safely. One of the things that significantly affected the region's economy was the traffic flow added by the bridge. After the opening of the bridge in 2024, the region witnessed huge changes in how people travel between the two cities. Before the bridge, people used to spend hours traveling between Shenzhen and Jiangshan. But with the new bridge, the journey takes only 30 minutes. As a result of this reduction, the number of vehicles using the road daily increased to about 100,000 vehicles. This significant increase in traffic flow led to major changes in the local economy. The traffic congestion that previously existed on the Hamen Bridge was reduced by 26%, which facilitated trade and transport movement. At the same time, the bridge led to an overall increase in demand for travel within the region, positively affecting the logistics sector and increasing transport. Movement between cities, it is interesting to note that the new bridge has contributed to an unexpected increase in economic growth. As a result of the ease of movement between Shenzhen and Zhongshan, people began traveling between the two cities more frequently. Traffic across all Pearl River crossings increased by 14.97% year-on-year, year, reflecting people's desire to benefit from the ease of transport and the short time the journey takes. The project also stimulated many new economic activities, including increased commercial activity in infrastructural aid industries and the development of new projects in the surrounding cities. The total amount invested in the bridge and tunnel reached about $5 billion over eight years a figure that may seem large, but the results on the ground have been enormous. If you had the opportunity to cross this amazing bridge, would you prefer to do so during the day to enjoy the views or at night to see the stunning lights? Share your opinion in the comments. We have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and we will meet in the next video.